military weapons. Welcome back once again to another video. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on for more like this in the future. The M4 Carbine is a shorter and lighter variant of the M16A2 assault rifle. The M4 is a 556 by 45 mm NATO air-cooled direct impingement gas-operated magazine-fed carbine. It has a 14 and a half inch barrel and a telescoping stock. The M4 carbine is extensively used by the United States Armed Forces and is largely replacing the M16 rifle in the United States Army and the United States Marine Corps combat units as its primary infantry weapon. The first model, called the XM4, which was renamed to the M4 in May of 1991, had an upper A1 sight and was given a shorter 11.5 inch barrel, but later was extended to 14.5 inches for the bayonet and the M203 grenade launcher. There have been some criticism of the carbine, such as its lower muzzle velocity and louder reports due to the shorter barrel, with additional stress on parts because of the shorter gas system and a tendency to overheat faster than the M16A2. The M4 is a handy and more convenient to carry weapon than the full-length rifle, and while the M4's maneuverability makes it a candidate for non-infantry troops, it also makes it ideal for close-quarter combat. The M4s mostly replaced the M16A2 in the Army and the Marines, and the U.S. Air Force, for example, is transitioning to completely use the M4 for security forces squadrons, while other armed personnel still retain the M16A2. The U.S. Navy uses the M4A1s for special ops and for vehicle crews. Some of the features of the M4 compared to a full-length M16 series rifle include its compact size, its shortened barrel at 14 and a half inches, including the shorter carbine gas system, and its telescoping butt stock. The M4 is capable of mounting the M203 and M320 grenade launchers with a distinctive step in its barrel for mounting the M203 with the standard hardware. The M4 is also capable of firing in semi-automatic and three-round burst modes, while the M4A1 is capable of firing semi-auto and fully auto modes. The reliability of the M4 has increased as the design has been upgraded. In 1990, the M4 was required to fire 600 mean rounds between stoppages using the M855 ammunition. In 2013, the current M4A1 version can fire 1,691 mean rounds between stoppages using the M855A1 ammunition. The M4 can also be fitted with a lot of accessories, such as night vision devices, suppressors, laser pointers, telescopic sights, bipods, and either the M203 or the M320 grenade launchers. The M26 mass shotgun, forward hand grips, and anything else that's compatible with an MIL STD 1913 Picatinny rail. Other common accessories include the ANPEQ2 and the ANPEQ15 multi mode laser and light modules with advanced combat optical gun sights and M68 CCO. EOTech holographic weapon sights are part of the SOP MOD2 package, with visible and infrared lights of various manufacturers also commonly attached using various mounting methods. As with all versions of the M16, the M4 accepts a blank firing attachment for training purposes as well. In January of 2017, a U.S. Marine Corps unit deployed with suppressors mounted to every infantry M4 service weapon. Exercises showed that having all weapons suppressed improved squad communication and surprise during engagements, but the disadvantages also included additional heat and weight, with increased maintenance and greater cost of equipping so many troops with the attachment. Of its weight, it's six and a half pounds empty and close to eight pounds with 30 rounds loaded up. Its length is 33 inches when the stock is extended and 29.75 when the stock is retracted. Of its action, it's gas operated with a rotating bolt. Its rate of fire is between 700 and 950 rounds per minute cyclic. Its muzzle velocity is 2,970 feet per second with an effective firing range of 500 meters. The feed system features a 30-round box magazine or other Stanag magazines. Magazines with different capacities are also available. It features iron sights or the ability to have various optics. 
That's it for now. Make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on for more in the future. Also like this video and leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.